Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loads 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for today's horse racing action. As you will hear on the channel, just want to apologise for being away the last uh, few days, been quite busy in my private life and I've had quite a lot of other things going on with other projects I'm doing at the moment, but I should be back to normal uh, for the foreseeable future anyway doing my Lucky 15 video, so I apologise for that, but we'll get straight into the action for today's racing and our first selection comes in the 240 at Taunton with a horse called Scaramanga, 5-2 bookmakers currently at the moment, trained by local trainer Paul Nichols, who obviously is in very good form at the moment, had the 8-timer on uh, Saturday with lots of winners up and down the country. Harry Cobden, his main man these days, is booked for the ride. And I think this horse could definitely come on for its uh, hurdle debut at Ludlow last last time. We're actually shaped in the race quite well. I think it just bumped into one that day of Tom George's... Uh, stable and I think that horse of Tom George's is going to be definitely one to follow and definitely uh, be looking for that one next time out but that wasn't a bad perform performance by Mr Scaramanga and I think this uh, race is a bit weaker than that race at Ludlow and I think he will have learnt a lot for that He's rated 85 on the flat, so he definitely had some ability. And I just think today, this is more like it for him, and I think he would have learnt from that experience. And I just thought, at the market principles, he was the one I would want to be on. So for me, I thought that wasn't a bad tip to start us off. We then go to the 4.15 at Taunton with a horse called Misterton, and I really fancy this one to do well today. 9-1 to one currently, but makers at the moment, is shorter than other firms. Now, this horse is trained by Harry Fry and Noel Feely, which is always a jockey combination. I always like uh, backing. But this horse finished second in the Greatwood Handicap at Cheltenham uh, last season. We haven't seen it since it finished ninth in the Betfair Hurdle, which was actually a complete bog. And I think you can definitely forgive uh, Mr. Tun that uh, day. This horse has also as well won off the layoff before. It's making, like I said, its first appearance for nearly a year. And last season won on its uh, comeback reappearance at Chepstow. And it has previously won off along there before. So no concerns about it going fresh here. I thought this horse still had a bit more progression to give. And definitely could be one for some of the spring handicaps, which I think they probably had an eye in mind for. So I think they found a good place here today. And I just thought 9-1. to one. Again, another fairly local trainer, Harry Friday does well at this track he's going to be going close and he was a big price and I would want to be taken on a couple of the market principles we then go to the 450 at Taunton with a horse called uh, Bodekin Point I think that's how you pronounce it 7-1 with bookmakers at the moment trained by Nicky Martin who had a winner the other day at Haydock an impressive winner with Sykes who could be going to the Cheltenham Festival Matt Griffiths is booked for the ride and this horse finished really well um, or I should say ran really well I thought on its chase debut last time out even though it did finish ninth, he did travel really well on that race and he, he just got tired coming into the home straight because that was his first run for over a year I think he would have come on for it a lot that day and he just kind, kind of blew up down the home straight and horses that have been off that time they're probably going to need a run to get them back back on track and I just think to, today off a mark of 88 after he did jump well in that race at Lingfield and the form has been franked by Parlamade winning again uh, recently I believe at Market Raisin that actually probably wasn't a bad level for the grade. And this is a really weak race. I just thought this horse is still very lightly raced, unexposed, with connections amongst the winners recently, and then probably coming on for the run. I just thought he was too big a price to ignore. So yeah, that's going to be my tip there. We then go to the all-weather action for our final selection for tonight's racing at Wolverhampton in the 8 o'clock with a horse called with a horse called Ella Sheba. 6-4, but makers currently at the moment. Trained by John Gosden, Kieran O'Neill, but for the ride. Finished fifth at Kempton last time when this horse blew the start. I think if it can get a better start today, it showed a good turn of foot enough that it should be winning one of these races. And I would want to take on the Godolphin horse. I remember the Godolphin horse in his second at Lingfield last time. I wasn't impressed with that horse at all. And I think this is the one that they've all got to beat if they want to win this race. So for me, I thought that wasn't a bad price for getting stuck into there. So they're my lucky 15 predictions for today's action. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button for more videos here on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter as well. I'm at Lucky Loads 15 and that's all I've got to say. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have some winners today and we'll be seeing you soon.